Hello, everybody. Welcome to our final week of Mini Flow Monday for our Watchover program. I can't believe it's already the last week in October and almost time for November and a new fun program that we're going to have for you guys. So in our last Mini Flow Monday Yoga session, I wanted to practice and focus on balance. So again, as always, this is a pre-recorded video, so feel free to start or stop whenever you'd like. You can do this workout as a full 30-minute workout by repeating some of the sequences that we go through today. It will just be about 10 to 15 minutes for today. And go at your own pace. Feel free to speed it up, slow it, slow it down, whatever you would like. So welcome. My name is Ellen, and we're going to get started right away. So let's come down onto our mat. Make sure you have plenty of room for today's Mini Flow Monday Yoga series. But also feel free to have a, be sort of close to a wall or maybe a bookshelf or something that you might want to use for some of our balancing poses that might be helpful for some of the things that we're going to be doing today. Okay. <clears throat> So let's start in a nice tabletop position, okay? So inhale, we're gonna drop that belly to the mat, bring that chest up, and as we exhale, find that angry cat position here, tucking your chin into your chest and really rounding that spine. And then again, inhale and exhale. So since this is our final week, we are gonna move a little bit faster and get right into building some heat in the body. So if you need a little longer warm up, feel free to repeat this a few more times or take a few more stretches to warm up. So one last time in this cat cow. Excellent. So we're going to find puppy pose before we find downward facing dog. With puppy, we keep our hips stacked on top of our knees. We're just going to slowly walk out and lower onto our forearms and lower that forehead to the floor. Again, keeping your hips up, getting a nice big stretch in those shoulders. And let's take another breath here. And let's slowly walk those hands up. So here we're gonna shift those hips forward, dropping those hips down, sort of coming into our upward facing dog. Just be very mindful of your back and your hips. So a nice modification for that movement is a simple cobra pose. So I'm gonna come back up into this first one here. So, so feel free to move your hips a little bit. Maybe you turn your head over that shoulder, slight bend in those elbows so we're not locking out our arms completely. Inhale, draw that navel in towards your spine. Lift your hips up first, push away from the mat. Exhale, stack those hips back on top of your knees. One more time, inhale, lowers us to the mat. In that puppy pose, forehead to the mat and take a few breaths. And take one more breath. Bring those hands back up. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead, stack those shoulders right on top of our wrists and just very gently drop those hips. We wanna lift up through the chest. Maybe you take your head side to side if that feels comfortable for you. Really pressing through those hip flexors here. Go ahead and inhale, draw that navel towards your spine. I want you to pull your abs in. So really use that core to lift yourself up and away from the mat. And then exhale, release. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get into it. So hands right at the top. Spread those fingers, tuck the toes. Inhaling here and exhale, find a nice downward facing dog. Maybe your first one of the day. Let's go ahead and pedal out those heels. Down dog. So options for that down dog. You can do this on your knees. You can even do this on your forearms if you were experiencing any wrist or shoulder issues. So modification here, just a down dog on your forearms. I'm going to take this down dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Remember to press your chest towards your thighs in that downward facing dog and drawing those shoulders away from your ears. And then inhale, let's go ahead and bend those knees. Exhale, let's walk our feet up to a forward fold. And relax here, just for a moment. And then inhale, brings those arms all the way up. Palms come together as we exhale lower. OK, 
Okay, so our first balance pose is gonna be called a chair pose. So inhale, let's lift up, and exhale, just float it down. Big deep breath here. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. We find a nice flat back. Pushing your hips back, legs are nice and straight. You're drawing your shoulder blades together here, and you wanna keep that neck nice and long at all times. And exhale, release. Okay, so what we're gonna do is bring our toes together, knees together. We're gonna drop our hips as we inhale. Those arms reach up as we exhale. This is our chair pose. So if you needed a modification for maybe your arms or shoulders, let's find cactus arms. So this is cactus, right? Cactus arms. But you wanna imagine that there's a chair underneath your hips. You wanna keep your back nice and straight here. Let's take another breath. We're gonna really feel those legs start to get nice and warm here. And then inhale, let's reach up. Perfect, exhale, let it go. All right, let's inhale, step that right foot back. Warrior one, glue your heel to the floor. Lift your chest, inhale, and exhale, hold. So warrior one, that front knee is bent, back leg is straight. We'll just go through a few basic warrior poses adding in those balance challenges. One more breath here. Inhale and straighten that leg. Exhale, those arms come down. We're gonna find a triangle pose next. Inhale, reach forward, hips go back. Exhale, you start to lower that front arm. And then this back arm, you're gonna start to reach that up and rotate through your chest, through your shoulders, stacking that wrist on top of your shoulder here. Maybe take your gaze up towards your hand. So hold on to that triangle pose. A little trick that I wanna show you is using the wall. So that's why in the beginning I mentioned if you're close to a wall, that's okay. You want enough space to be able to do your practice and stretch, but let's try to use the wall for your triangle pose. So get back into that triangle pose. Make sure just a few inches from the wall, place your hips up against it. Now try triangle pose up against the wall. So inhale and then exhale. So what I want you to do is try to make contact. Put your back up against the wall if you can. Turn your head, gaze up at your hand, and then can this hand or fingertip, can any of those fingertips reach the wall behind you? Woo. So it is much harder, but it really gets you into that full stretch so you really feel how that triangle pose should be. Ooh, this is hard. Press into that back foot, slowly lift up, inhale, excellent. And then exhale. What we're gonna do is actually step that back leg to meet that front foot. <clears throat> we're gonna come back into this chair pose, perfect. So we're gonna add on another layer of balance before we go to the other side. So this is also a little bit different. Palms come together. Hold in that chair pose. So we're gonna go back to warrior one, but before we do so, I want you to balance on your left foot and lift your right foot off the floor. So maybe just an inch, maybe you're on the toes here, but stay in that chair pose and lift that leg. So we're feeling that balance on this leg right here. Hold it, tuck those hips under, always engaging your core. Can you hold it for one more breath and then step right back to warrior one? Try it here. Step right back, Woo, to warrior one, inhale, exhale, hold, awesome. One more breath, inhale, straighten that front leg, exhale, those arms come down, triangle pose, one more time. Maybe get up against the wall if you wanna try that again. Inhale, reach, exhale. So maybe you're just reaching your knee and maybe this arm is half, so you sort of break that in half by bending your elbow, taking that hand to your hips. Again, listen to your body and your range of motion. We want that twist to come from the shoulder and the chest. If you're here, can you pull that bottom hand away from your leg and feel your core muscles work a little harder? One more breath, guys. Push into that back foot, inhale. Woo, exhale. Here we go, cart with those hands under. So we have one more balance thing to do before the other side. We're on this nice little lunge, okay? Hold it here. And now inhale, reach those arms back up, palms come together, exhale. Bring that balance on this foot, 
One more time in a little different way. We're gonna lean forward with our chest and exhale, push up this back foot. <clears throat> push up this back foot and lift it up. So maybe you just start right there. Maybe just a few inches. Here is a great time to use that wall, especially if you wanna to try to lift that back leg up a little bit higher. So use that wall, use whatever is in front of you. This is our warrior three. Woo! Fall on just a little bit. So if you fall out of it, shake it out, get back into it. Let's try about three more really deep breaths. Hands are here so that our back is flat. If you're ready, maybe you extend your arms straight out. Now, can you imagine pressing your back foot into the wall and keeping that leg straight? One more breath. And then bring that foot down to meet the other foot. Woo, relax. Shake it out. Let's step back. Downward facing dog. Excellent. Bend your knees, inhale. Exhale, walk your feet to the top. Come that forward fold. Inhale, reaches those arms up, palms come together. And exhale, okay? Same thing on the other side, we'll be just about done. So again, this one, obviously it's the last week, we've built up a little bit, it definitely is harder. But it's always good to challenge yourself because you might surprise yourself, right? Inhale up, exhale, float it down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale. So chair pose is first, toes and knees together, drop your hips, inhale, lift your arms up, exhale. Hold this here. So again, cactus arms, maybe for that modification for your neck and shoulders. Let's go ahead and tuck those hips under, right? So we really get those core muscles working. Notice that difference in my back. Tuck the hips under, stay low. A lot of balance here, working those thighs. One more breath and then inhale up, exhale, let it go. Great job. And go ahead and step out, warrior one, left foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hold. Ooh. So remember, you're stitching that rib cage together, keeping that core nice and tight. You're almost there. And then inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, arms lower. Triangle pose. So again, on the other side, take it first to that wall if you have that space. Let's try it. So you're a couple inches away from the wall. Okay, inhale forward, those hips go in the opposite direction, exhale. Can you try to make contact and place your back, I'll show you this way, place your back up against the wall here. So sort of fall into the wall, try to touch, there we go. So I'm a lot more open on this side. Can your fingertips touch the wall? Hold it right there for a few breaths, and then come back to the center of the mat. So wherever you're doing this, remember, pull those abs in. And remember that you're twisting and rotating from the torso and shoulder. One more breath. And then inhale, push into that back foot. Woo, awesome. Exhale. Okay. Let's go ahead. Carve those hands down. Nice and slow here. We're going to go ahead and step that foot back in. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, lift up halfway. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna come back into that chair pose. Exhale, lower. So knees and toes together, hips drop. Reach those arms up. Inhale and exhale. This time, bring your palms together. Hold it here. Imagine that chair right underneath your hips. Okay, now we're gonna add this balance. So go ahead and lift that other foot off the floor. Hold it for a couple of seconds before we step right back into warrior one. So you're holding it, you're holding it, you're staying low. One more breath and then step back. Woo, it's that warrior one, inhale and exhale. Perfect. So we're gonna go through triangle one more time. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, arms come down. You can go back to the wall or stay right here. Inhale, exhale, find a triangle pose. Remember all these options. Maybe hand to hip, maybe you're just here. Either way, your legs are pretty straight and you are rotating from your shoulders and chest. You'll feel that if you do it against the wall. Now, a little extra challenge, bottom hand. Can we pull it away from our leg? So it's just that core working. Oof, 
One more breath, guys. Push back into that foot, inhale, excellent. Exhale, let's cartwheel down again. Stay here for a moment, I'm gonna come into a nice high lunge. So lift your chest, arms lift up, inhale, palms come together, exhale. We're gonna balance one more time on this foot by kicking this back leg up behind us. Inhale forward, chest lowers. Exhale, push off that back foot and lift. So maybe you start right here. The key is that the back leg is straight, okay? So I don't want you here, okay? Hands are at prayer so that we keep our back flat. So I'd rather see you here than getting your leg up a little higher and dropping your front body and dropping your chest. So keep your chest up. If you fall out of it, get back into it. Can you straighten your back leg a little bit more? Imagine you're pushing that foot into a wall behind you. Use your walls, use your bookshelf for a little bit of assistance. If you fall out of it, get into it. Three more breaths, here we go. Maybe you extend those arms straight out. Maybe they go to the side. Woo, one more breath. Stay on falling out a little bit. And then bring that foot down to make the other foot. Woo, step it back. Great job. Down dog. Come forward to your plank. Lower those knees as you exhale. Nice and wide, sit back into that child's pose. Take a breather. So that was really challenging. Hopefully you're nice and warm. And then slowly walk those hands back up. Find a nice comfortable seated position. Whatever it is for you, I'm on my shins, maybe it's cross-legged for you. Shoulders up and down one more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, and that is it for your final mini flow Monday. Again, feel free to go through that sequence two, even three more times to get a real long workout. Feel free to pause stop, start, whenever you would like. I did go through that a little bit faster than normal. So feel free to do it again. Stop whenever you need to. And let me know if you have any questions. Great job, guys. Keep up that walking. And we'll see you for our next program.